peace infinite waters diving deep once again beautiful deep divers we are out here in the heart of nature baby gorgeous weather we got the sun beaming through everybody's outside having a good time laughing and smiling even the cat down the road <laughs> how to stop absorbing other people's toxic negative energy let's just Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. <laughs> I got a great question that came in. Ralph, yes. How can I stop absorbing other people's toxic negative energy? Because I don't need that, Ralph. Now, that's a great question. I get thousands of questions every single day. If you've got a question, please don't mail me don't do that because i get thousands in my inbox instagram me at infinite waters what is it at infinite waters if you got a question so we got a whole lot to talk about i made a famous video how to stop absorbing other people's energy it went viral there were so many articles written on that video alone so this is the updated version do you sometimes walk around and you're like, I'm picking up all of this, all of this toxic energy from this person. And they're not even opening their mouth. They're just staring at you like that. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? So let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Beautiful deep divers on this gorgeous day to stop absorbing people's toxic negative energy because we don't need that we don't need that we don't need that remind yourself that you can't please everyone you see you can't please everyone even if you want to your mom wants you to do certain things your dad wants you to do certain things random strangers want you to do certain things but what do you want to do that is the most important thing. You see, people start absorbing other people's toxic energy in a very subtle way. It usually starts when you're a teenager and someone in your family says, don't do it like that, do it like this. And then you believe them, you're like, actually they know better. And once they see you, you believe them, they get a little bit cocky. Then they start becoming a dictator of your entire life. Oh no! <laughs> so you have to remind yourself that it's up to you to learn how to set up healthy energetic boundaries and you do this by becoming impeccable with your word. Don't think you can please everyone. If you really want to say no, just say no. Say it a bit with a bit more conviction please. No, that's better. Yes, if you really want to say yes, yes. Realize you got to sometimes speak the truth even if your voice shakes. You see, I've realized this, that the problem is when you try and please everyone, you always, always, always end up disappointing yourself. And then someone else down the line when they see you're not really that enthusiastic about it. So learn to fill your own cup first. That is how to stop absorbing people's toxic negative energy. I've spoken about the invitation, okay? <laughs> For many years. The invitation is where you now have to start taking responsibility. If you say, Oh, Ralph, that person is really toxic. Realize nobody can make you feel a certain way without your permission. Slow motion this side. Nobody can make you feel inferior without your permission. Nobody can make you feel like a victim without your permission. It's time to start realizing you are powerful beyond measure. You're not a victim of circumstance no more. The invitation is realizing that everybody is handing out flyers. Please come to my party. You can choose to go or not. 
to accept the flyer or not say return to sender and that's how to learn how to stop absorbing people's toxic energy don't accept everybody's invitation if someone is trying to argue with you just be silent it now goes back to the sender right you don't always have to play other people's game you don't have to accept other people's invitations that's the beauty of life you can choose who you surround yourself with now learn this pay attention to what serves you the most that is how to stop absorbing people's toxic negative energy because we don't need that here we don't need that you see people pay attention to the wrong things you are paying attention to low vibrational energy maybe it's a person that's not serving you maybe it's a situation that's not serving you maybe it's a relationship that's not serving you when you are paying attention you are making an energetic transaction therefore you take back your power when you start becoming conscious of what you are paying attention to this channel has over 1 million youtube subscribers over 1 million youtube subscribers because i'm paying attention to the people who have great energy thank you ralph thank you I'm not paying attention to other people. That's why this channel keeps growing and growing because I'm choosing where I place my focus. I'm focusing on the most magnificent deep divers around. I'm not focusing on people who are draining my energy. They don't exist. They don't exist in my reality. And that's how to stop absorbing people's toxic energy. I get it. Life is filled with beautiful people strange people crazy people <laughs> vampires energy vampires okay you see your power lies in your attention attention is the new currency you turn into whatever you're tuned into mm. slow motion this side slow motion this side Mm. let me repeat that you turn into whatever you are tuned into recognize your power today you see to stop absorbing other people's toxic energy it starts by just whoa, breathing in that good ass prana baby becoming conscious of your breath becoming mindful of your breathing patterns because many times when we find someone to be very annoying we're not really breathing deep from the base of our spine and that is the key to absolute relaxation okay breathing deep from the base of your spine now seven day vegan challenge i've been a vegan for over 13 years and i've realized ever since i've been eating a plant-based diet i've become a lot calmer in my demeanor i've become a lot less anxious less panic and it's because of the magnesium you see magnesium is what you need you find this in leafy greens kale watercress the most nutrient dense vegetable in the entire world apart from e3 live right magnesium will calm 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 your nerves you see because sometimes you find that this person this someone is toxic We'll come to that later because I don't know how to deal with it, Ralph. Okay, they are showing you something about yourself you need to take a look at. Usually it's because you are reacting to them. You see, when you move from reaction to response, that toxic person is no longer toxic because you say, I'm not going to give them, I'm not going to give them, I am not going to give them that kind of power. You see, when you say, oh, that person, that person is so toxic, Ralph. Now you feel like a victim. Say, no, this person doesn't even exist in my reality because I'm going to rise above them. They aren't going to make me a prisoner. No, I'm not going to tolerate that. You see, and it starts with learning how to breathe deep from the base of your spine. Ask yourself, are you eating the leafy greens? Are you getting the magnesium? Okay, because if you are eating junk food, 
you are going to be reacting. It's about responding where you take a moment to find clarity to say, OK, what's the best way I can approach this situation? How can I deal with this person in the most efficient way? How you respond to a situation literally has the power to change the entire situation completely. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> now, what's helped me along my journey to stop absorbing people's toxic negative energy is to remind myself that I am responsible for my internal condition and nobody else. You see, a lot of people say this, Ralph, they made me do it. Ralph, they made me feel like this. What if I told you they didn't? You have chosen how you feel in this present moment. Nobody can make you feel a way you don't want to feel. You are co-signing that. And that's why you've got to learn the secrets of alchemy. So you are responsible for your internal condition. Happiness is an inside job. It starts with you. It starts by saying, I am going to take control of my internal condition. I get it. I don't control what they do, those people and that stranger and that person. I don't control their vibes, but I can control my internal condition. You have supreme power over that. To stop absorbing people's toxic negative energy, realize that a lot of the times they are showing you something about yourself. If someone is bringing something out of you, which is making you feel like you're absorbing their negative vibes, that means there is something in you that is on the same frequency. Universal law states two frequencies Two opposing frequencies cannot occupy the same time and space. So to rise above negativity, you have to be vibrating on a different frequency. When we can realize this, we start to realize that maybe it's not just them. Maybe we have a little part to play. Maybe, just maybe, we also have unresolved issues. And that's really what's helped me along my journey. Sometimes I say, this person is toxic, then I look at myself, I have a reality check and say, actually, maybe there are areas of my life I need to work on. Maybe I am attracting this person into my life. Okay, so have a look at your unresolved issues. And I guarantee you that will help you deal with this person's toxic energy and not absorb it anymore. Okay, now, What's helped me along my journey is this, plain and simple, learn how to express yourself. When you can find your voice, when you can learn how to express yourself 100%, you now speak <laughs> even when your voice shakes. That is how to stop absorbing people's toxic negative energy. You see, people always say silence is beautiful. It is beautiful. At the same time, 100% clear communication being impeccable with your word, being impeccable with your word is even more beautiful. You have to say what you mean and mean what you say. If someone is bothering you, don't wait till next week. Don't wait until two weeks. Don't wait until they're forgotten about it. Address it there and then. A lot of people will get a surprise. They'll be in for a rude awakening. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this person stood up to me. Now look this person directly in their eyes and say, I don't like how you're behaving to me. They either going to do two things, say what? Or, oh my gosh. Okay. They're probably going to be a little bit surprised, right? A little bit surprised. When you learn how to express yourself 100%, you find confidence. Confidence emanating from the Latin confidere, which means to trust. You have to learn how to trust yourself, to express yourself, to say, actually, no more. I'm going to tell this person exactly how I feel. I'm not going to be silent so it makes them happy. Once again, it's not about pleasing other people. It's about respecting yourself, love yourself, accept yourself today. To stop absorbing other people's toxic negative energy, 
remind yourself that you are not responsible for how other people act towards you. That is their karma. But however, however, how you respond is yours. You aren't responsible for their behavior. Just focus on becoming the greatest version you can possibly be and the universe will take care of the rest. You see, many times we start absorbing people's toxic energy because what happens? We feel we are responsible <laughs> for what everybody does, how everybody behaves. We think is something personal. We ascribe intent. Ascribing intent is where we think what everybody does is in response to us. And it's totally not. Once you remind yourself to stop ascribing intent, if someone doesn't call you back, it's not because of you. It's probably because they don't have a phone. Don't worry about it. Now you stop absorbing other people's toxic energy because you realize things aren't as personal as they appear to be. Okay? That's how to stop absorbing people's toxic negative energy. Learn this today that you have to find your environment. You begin finding your environment when you surround yourself with people who you aspire to be like. Let me repeat that. You find your environment when you surround yourself with people who you aspire to be like. We are around a lot of people. Not everyone has your best interests at hand. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't want a lot of friends. I've got the right people around me though. That's why this channel has over 1 million subscribers because I keep a close circle of support. What I call the success team. If you don't have a success team, you are going to be surrounded by energy vampires. You are going to be absorbing their toxic energy. I'm asking you today to find your environment, get your butt into nature, meditate more, but also surround yourself with people who don't belittle you. Surround yourself with people who respect you. Surround yourself with people who actually give you something instead of take something away from you. You see, find your environment. We become like the people we surround ourselves with most often. Energy is contagious. Now, to stop absorbing other people's toxic energy, what's helped me along my journey is to let go of the need to always be validated. Okay? Sometimes we're like, oh, I need to be validated by this person. I need to be validated by that person. No, you don't. Learn how to validate yourself. Many times, many times we start absorbing really other people's opinions due to our insecurities because we don't really know ourselves, because we don't really believe ourselves, more so because we don't really trust ourselves. So what I'm asking you to do today is to learn how to validate yourself. You are enough. You are a thousand times enough. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> okay. To stop absorbing other people's toxic negative energy, go where you are celebrated, not where you are tolerated. Don't have a bunch of friends who don't even like you, who just want you there for the picture, but afterwards they don't even talk to you, they don't even call you. You don't need that. Surround yourself with people who will always be there, who will always be there to scratch your back. <laughs> So remind yourself, beautiful deep divers, that you hold tremendous power. Every single day, you can, you can create your reality. You can create your reality. You can attract better energy into your life, okay? And then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? There. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Just... Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You! <laughs>
Go where you are celebrated, not where you are tolerated, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Good one.